So tell us a little bit about your business model for Endeavor and what success looks like here. Well, we are a nonprofit because we started out in countries where there was a lot of money, there was a lot of talent, there was no trust, there was no social capital. And so kind of like Mozilla Firefox that created an, a nonprofit to create an open source for the internet, we said we want to create almost like the open source environment for building entrepreneurial ecosystems. But we were very entrepreneurial and we always wanted to be market driven. So all our revenues are, um, are market driven based on uh, people pulling us in to expand. The entrepreneurs are actually committing a certain amount of cash and a certain amount of giving back when they exit. And now we have a catalyst, a passive co-investment fund as well. So anytime our entrepreneurs raise $5 million or more, Endeavor Catalyst will come in on the term set by the lead investor. And what's excited about this is we don't have to pick among, choose among our children. It's rules-based, it's automatic. <laughs> and yet Endeavor will be self-sustaining based on either the entrepreneurs giving back to their local communities or this global uh, catalyst returns or most likely a combination of both. So I love that we're marrying the kind of mission and, and the business model, but still allowing others to come in. We felt that if we started just as a private sector one a lead fund, we would crowd out everyone else.